touching on the best releases of every month once again this time we are looking at october it's been a pretty good month for music music has really started to pick up as the later months come in as they always do we creep up onto the better releases as the year goes on i think from september onwards you usually get some really good releases there's lots to cover on this segment here i'm going to blast through these this time though i don't feel like the uh, interest in these videos is as high as it possibly could be uh, maybe you guys just aren't that interested in watching these ones i don't fully know i like making them though i think it's nice to kind of consolidate my favorites and kind of have a place to you know, highlight what my favourites of each, each month is. I think it's fun to do. So I'm going to do it anyway, but I'm just going to kind of breeze through each one. We're going to start straight away with Mavi, actually. I haven't reviewed this, and if you've noticed recently, I've cut down the amount of reviews I've been doing on this channel. I'm trying not to just review absolutely everything. It's quite time consuming, and it's a lot and uh, yeah again if the views aren't necessarily always going to be there it's a lot of effort to pour into for something that isn't doing all that well and i that's why i'm cutting down on re reviews generally in case you hadn't already noticed but mavi uh, this is better than the other album in my opinion actually i think it flows a lot better i think Lyrically, they're about on par with one another, really. I do think Mavi's previous album was a really strong lyrical fro uh, lyr lyrical outing for someone that is pretty young. Kind of reminds me of Red Veil in that sense. Both these artists are still quite young, but yet they're incredibly mature. And I don't think I'd put Mavi on the level of Red Veil just quite yet, because I think Red Veil is fantastic. But the soulful, jazzy production and his flows, he's really, really coming through and coming into his own on this album. I think it's... Uh, I think is really good. I'm going to keep in the hip hop genre for the next one. This time, a UK hip hop artist, Loyal Kana. Very consistent, this guy. He's putting out really good albums almost every time he releases, and he doesn't really miss in terms of the quality. I still feel like there's something just ever so slightly missing from his music. I don't know what exactly it is because he's got the heart, he's got the charm, he's got the passion, he's got the He's got the right mindset to be making some really thought-provoking music, but it just never fully lands into like the great elite tier of hip-hop or the elite tier of general music anyway. But he's really good and he's always consistent and I like him a lot. I want to mention Cakes to Killer next. I think this is another guy that is again really consistent with his releases, put out some fantastic music a few years back in that EP that he dropped. Really, really fun EP that one is, man. And once again, he's really, really honing in on this kind of like house, hip house style with some really banging, banging beats with some really catchy flows, some really catchy one-liners, the hooks are earworms like love me nots is really really catchy and so many of the other tracks are as well he's nailing this sort of formula down to a t and yeah on any given day this honestly could be like a, a really really strong release for the entire year generally and it could potentially grow on me even further as well just because of how much fun i do have when i play this but yeah case the killer the unsung hero at the moment for just some really catchy pop rap music like this guy is way more deserving of a huge following than he's currently getting so good ninos del chero next is how i think you say the name really really cool stuff this very much in the vein of like animal collective or that kind of neo psych indie rock from the 2000s except it's in a different language so if you're put off by the fact that it's not in english you are foolish because this is really good music. The instrumentation is often really rich. The vocals are so charming. It's a really good album. The only thing is, is that it's like so long. And by the end, almost the entire like last leg of the album is basically just repeating what the first half was doing. And it didn't really need to keep going. It probably could have been tied up like at 45 to 50 minutes. So yeah, this would have been a strong year end list highlight for me if it weren't for the length. Uh, because I think the replay value is going to be cut off a little bit going forward, but it's it's a really good album. I want to mention Smino next. Really, really good contender for my album of the month, honestly. Just such a fun little hip-hop release here with the clear influences coming through from so many different artists at the moment. You know, you've got your Sabbers, you've got your Chance Rappers, you've got your bloody uh, Kendrick Lamar. Really, really strong influences from a bunch of artists at the moment coming through on this album. And yet he ties it into his own 
way like he ties it in in his own way it's his best album yet he has a really good knack for hooks and catchy flows similarly to cakes to killer actually if you're just wanting some really poppy upbeat hip-hop music both these albums are exactly what you're going to be looking for for 2022 but this is just up there with the best and the features man i mean good god these features are so good raven Lene. Uh, J. Cole, like really top tier guest verses coming through. Like Smino, another contender for album of the month really, always um, the act that are putting out some of the best dream pop music out at the moment really. They are so strong and ridiculously consistent as well. This is a really strong three album run so far. And if they keep up this trajectory, they could have four albums in a row that are absolutely stellar. So yeah, I I'm really impressed with Always and uh, really, really, just happy that they're so good still like they haven't dropped a mediocre release yet and as much as the past two albums i've just mentioned smino and always could easily be a by album of the month i think the one i keep going back to the most and having the most fun with is gene dawson gene dawson with uh, the follow-up to the fantastic 2020 album which was like really really good pixel bath with such a great album cover as well by the way that album cover is absolutely pristine but yeah this time around he is just kind of stepping more into that rock star sort of attitude persona and i feel like these tracks are really really heavy handed with the rock instrumentation while also having the super anthemic super youthful lyrics and youthful sort of um, aesthetic going on with it as well he's really one of the best out there at the moment in this style like seriously in terms of indie rock and rock music i feel like gene is up there with the best and i'm so excited to see where we go from here because if the music's already this good for the past two albums good god he could be a potential legend going forward and i feel like he could be bigger as well i hope to see that he gets that he gets bigger but up until then i'm just going to keep playing his music and sharing it because i think it's fantastic and there we go there we have it we're going to end there sorry if i rush through these uh, i don't even know if i did i haven't even seen the runtime of what this video is going to be yet who knows but hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you got some recommendations out of it as well i haven't reviewed most of these actually so these might be pretty new to your ears new to your eyes you might not have even heard of some of these but I'm highlighting them as some of the best I've heard throughout October. Let me know what your favourites are as well. I'm sure there'll be plenty of ones that didn't get mentioned, like Taylor Swift, I'm sure, will be many people's favourite of October as well. Uh, Arctic Monkeys as well, I'm sure. Weren't really big on those personally, but I can see why you would say they were great. But don't click off the video yet, because I'm going to let my favourite songs of the month play to end out this video as well. So have a good day. Subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye and enjoy the songs. I can see my eyes from